In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Talk2, a free chat widget for your website, to engage your customers and measure your interactions with them. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of MeasureSchool.com, where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and on this channel, we publish tutorials, how-to videos, and take a look at new marketing tech, just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now recently I was on the lookout for a new chat tool that we can easily integrate on measureschool.com and also track the interactions with this widget. Thanks to viewer Matthew, I gave Talk2 a go. It's quite a little powerful chat widget that you can install through Google Tag Manager, which I'm a big fan of, but most importantly, it's free. So I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on what is possible with this little piece of marketing tech. We got lots to cover, so let's dive in. Today our journey starts here at the homepage of Talk2, which you can find on talk.to. And here's where you can sign up for a completely free chat solution of Talk2. This will in the end look a little bit like this, where you have a chat window where you can also initiate a chat. So once you sign up, you will be greeted with the dashboard of Talk2 and the embed code that you need to install on your website to get this little chat widget onto your website. Now Talk2 has a lot of different integrations with different CMS systems. So if you want to just install this via an extension or plugin, you would be able to do this as well. Please check back with their knowledge base to see if there's an extension available. But since this is JavaScript, we could also install this via Google Tag Manager on our website, which is my preferred method of doing things. So I would, for example, just copy this code and look onto my website where I already have Google Tag Manager installed. Go over to my Google Tag Manager account, create a new tag, give it a name, choose the custom HTML option, put our code in here, and define a trigger where I want to essentially enable this widget. Then save this. And we can try this all out by going into our preview and debug mode. Back to our page, let's reload this. And our preview and debug mode obstructs a bit our view, but we can click on this little arrow here. And we see that a chat widget has been installed onto our website. We can try this out. And we see that there is a new message here. Somebody just wrote us, we can join this conversation and chat with our user. So this seems to be working really well. And just in a few seconds, we had installed a chat solution on our website. Now the talk to interface gives you a lot more customization options, such as the appearance of the widget, but also can you program in certain triggers? For example, if the user has visited two or three of your pages, you would be able to actively open up the chat window and start chatting with him, which is great for proactive engagement with your user. So there are a lot of different options within the interface. That there's also a JavaScript API available. And this JavaScript API features different customizations that you can implement for the code and then be able to pick up certain events or push certain actions like opening up the chat window automatically through a JavaScript call. So what would this look like? I have made a little demo here that you can download under measureschool.com slash chat and you will be able to download our template which will let you install talk to specific tags and variables that we have created. So just go to import container and choose the file that you want to import. Then choose your workspace. And if you're not sure if this would override anything, just go with the merge option here and the rename conflicting tags, triggers and variables. Then you can confirm that. 
I have already done this. So in the end, you will get new tags, variables and triggers into your account. All you need to do then is go onto the main talk to widget tag that we have here and implement your talk to embed code. So let's go back and find our talk to embed code. Copy that, go back to our tag manager and paste this here in. The script tags are not necessary. And we should be able to save this, refresh our preview and debug mode, refresh our page. And we see that there have been already new messages pushed to the data layer, which will in the end push a new event to Google Analytics. This is what these new tags are for. The GA event tag is for talk to events and the listener functionalities that you find beneath the embed code. What will this do? It will send over an event to Google Analytics. We can see this in our real-time reporting as well. Here is a talk to event that the chat window opened. So if we try something new here, let's close this. We should see another event. Here we go. And our talk to just had a new event, two events actually, talk to chat ended and talk to window closed. So all these interactions are now automatically tracked with the help of Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics and obviously the talk to JavaScript API. So this can be really useful. Another useful feature is the visitor call. What does that do? Well, if you remember, we had a little form that we had to fill out here at the beginning. What if we could automatically fill that with the user's information if we already know it? So if a user logs into our online store and we have his email address and his name available, then we would push this into the data layer and we could pass that information on to talk to as well. We have done this in this tag template with the ID user. Please be aware that you need to send in data layer information. This is the data layer variable email and the data layer variable name with a special event key, which is called user. So for example, on this website, if you go to this page, we see that user information gets pushed into the data layer. The user's name is John Doe and the email is John Doe email. And now the user doesn't have to go through this whole sign up process anymore, but will automatically be recognized with his name and his email address. We would also see this in our dashboard. So here we can see the email address and the name was automatically filled, which can be super helpful if we already have identified the user in our system and now just want to have a more personal conversation with him because we already have his details ready in this chat window. That way you could pull in any kind of information that you have available in your CRM and transfer this profile over to talk to automatically. So again, these little tag templates with the listener functionality and the ID can be super useful if you want to track interactions and also identify the user to your chat software. And you can download these at measureschool.com slash chat. So there you have it. That's how you can use talk to on your website and also measure your interactions with the help of Google Tag Manager. Don't forget you can download our talk to tag template at measureschool.com slash chat and install it right away in your Google Tag Manager account. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We bring you more videos every Wednesday. My name is Julian. Till next time.